chime into this Dak? Is that the problem? Is <laughs> that's the question? I think that's the question for all Cowboy fans. I mean, you're seeing everything that you can possibly see on television or on social media right now. Fans throwing their TVs outside, burning their jerseys. I mean, they're <laughs> crying. 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 <laughs> crying. I tell you, you one know, thing. I'm, I'm here. Fire the head coach. What's that? It's not going to change nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. That uh Sunday, boy, here in, woo, boy, every, I we was out riding around. Everybody, I it was like a, a cowboy, like, herd. Like, it was it was serious. Like, everybody had cowboy jerseys on. Yeah, and I was like, "Hey, just dis- getting ready to get lost. They be getting ready to be disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> you know, but everybody was out here just like, yo, go Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. It was like the like Texas shut down for that yeah. for this Cowboys game, yeah. like for real. Yeah. And it's been um, shut down ever since because they have not bounced back yet. Man, they still heartbroken. <laughs> Doesn't make. I don't. Them. I don't mean to troll them, man. But God, dog, boy, at some point. You, know, you got to figure something out. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know, man. Like, he, he's definitely the problem. No, he, he's the problem. Um, <laughs> he's the problem. <laughs> Elaborate. I got to hear this. <laughs> no, nah, because he, he, he just, you know, he's up and down. Like, he'll have – well, I don't really – and I know people do, but I don't really count the game against the Buccaneers. It's a football game. It's an NFL yeah. game, and he beat, you know, the GOAT. But yeah, you beat somebody. You beat up on a team that's been struggling all year. Yeah, they were eight and nine. It's, it's not like they. I mean, not, it's they, not like they were just hitting on. They weren't even. Bro, Mike Evans finally had a, like a two touch. That was his first two touch get, touchdown game. The last game of the season. So, <laughs> um, that to me, he just doesn't make the right reads. It's yeah. like some of those interceptions. Like you know what he doesn't do well enough. He doesn't anticipate. He doesn't anticipate his throws. Like if if like he'll see a wide a open a man wide open, but he doesn't understand that man's gonna drop. He, he got another man that's gonna drop that can intercept it. Yeah, you know, drop out of coverage. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It's, it's like he's lost his. I don't want to say poise because he, I think he's okay in the pocket, but I think he's lost his anticipation skills. You know, not looking, not scanning the field, the whole field. You know, mm-hmm. like oh, I got open man, let me throw it. No, if you, if. If you see it, you gotta you gotta anticipate that the defender's gonna come intercept it. Like, yeah. you know, really, Dak, the Cowboys should have won this game. I, I'd be honest with you. The Cow the 49ers, they played well, but they didn't play like well enough to this win that game. Dak really threw it away for them. Cowboys yeah. could have been, they could they should be playing the um um who's it, who is it? Um Eagles. Who, the Eagles right now. Yeah, now nah, they'll um, lose against the Eagles, but oh no, they're gonna lose. Uh, they, yeah. they're going well. I got the 49s going, so I, I'm gonna have to ride with my pick, but um, but I'm not confident in it because I the Eagles look serious, but I'm 49s <laughs> are serious too. But um, but yeah, that to me is the problem, man. Uh, and it's not just him, it's it's he's a big part of it to me because all yeah. season he's been up and down, not yeah. making the right reads on interception. One game he's looking like a He's looking like the forty dollar man that they pay, and then the next game he just looks like he doesn't even know what the hell he's doing. Yeah. Um. So now I, I, they're stuck with him, you know. And but Jerry Jones, he's full support though. He came out to the game. He was like, "Hey, it's our quarterback. We're gonna ride with him. We got to continue to build and put more pieces around him." He did come out and say that. Mm-hmm. Um. So I mean, and I don't they they because they are stuck with him. I mean, they gave him that forty million dollar contract what two years ago now. Mm-hmm. What are they gonna do? Trade him? Nobody gonna want him for his yeah, his anybody, money. And nobody gonna pick up that contract. I no, think people no. take that Prescott, but they won't pick up that contract. They're not gonna pick up that 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 contract. No. But I also think it's the I, I like um I like Tony Pollard. The real question be should be also Zeke. You know, is Zeke done? You yeah, know, because this is pick up Zeke's contract. Well, I think this is, this is his last year, isn't it? Because he got his year before he got his deal before that. Oh like yeah, two, yeah, yeah. Two years before that. Mm-hmm. Cause Dak was like, I'm gonna hold out until he made Jerry Jones pay him. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think this is Dak. I, I remember that. I think remember Zach, Zeke saying, "I want to come back," but you know Zeke is, you know, he's just a third down back, go, uh, goal line rushing back, uh, not rushing, but mm-hmm. running back now. Um, he can't really get in between the tackles no more. Can't really. He doesn't. I think he lost some of his burst. He just looks. Yeah. He just look, is this really? I think he's more on his name now, more than anything, but. Um, the defense is legit. 
You know, um, it's well, they're not going to better keep. They're not going to better keep that defense together. They're not. No, they're not. They're not. They're not, no. man. But yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I think this is. I hate to even say this, but this kind of reminds me of Tony Romo. <laughs> you beat me to it. You get yeah, okay? Because <laughs> like, because oh, I mean to cut you off, but go ahead, no, go you go. I've been talking. Go so, ahead, say say your piece. So, so this is my thing. I picked the Cowboys to win this game against the 49ers. Mm-hmm. That's when I shot in that group chat. I said I got Cowboys, and the reason why I picked the Cowboys is because I feel as if they had a more veteran team and a more experienced quarterback. Yeah, and. When you watch the game, you could tell that Brock Purdy, yeah, he looked like a deer in headlights. Yeah, that was a good point in the group chat. You text that. You said that the, the he, moment might be too big for him. I, and I really felt like the moment. I, I really felt. I really felt that mm-hmm. all the hype he was getting, all the momentum he was getting going into this game, I just felt like, all right, I think you know, he's come to the realization, like, all right. This is a very important game. Like, I can't lose this game. And I knew it was going to be a lot of pressure for him to not make too many mistakes and make the right to make the right decisions where he's going to make too many mistakes and not make the right decision because yeah. he's going to second guess himself. And I knew he was going to do that. But knowing that Prescott, what I should have taken into consideration is that he's going to throw an interception. Yeah. He's going to cost you a game. He's going to continue to do it because, and I think, and, and you know, I think that Prescott, I should have realized this. As much as I felt as if Brock Purdy had felt like he had too much pressure, I feel as if that Prescott realized, I think he took it as he has a lot of pressure on himself too. And I think he wants, you know, any every quarterback wants to go to the almighty Super Bowl. But I think that Prescott's putting too much pressure because if you, if you watch the reads, he second guts. He pumps. That's like, well, you don't have to pump right there. Like I watched, it was one where Paula was in the backfield and nobody was open, but Paula was already – he was technically, if Paula would have did it, he could have did a real wow if they would have mm-hmm. called the right play. But he just did it, you know, he was a check down, check down guy. And he didn't really look to that check down and started scrambling. And mm-hmm. and I've told folks, and I said, that Prescott is the same that Prescott who was at Mississippi State. The only difference is he's just not a rookie, so he kind of knows, you know, all right, I'm not going to do too many other dumb stuff I did at Mississippi State. But this is still yeah. the same that Prescott that was at Mississippi State. He yeah. still is going to make you those because when they when they play in those games and because he had Dan Mullen as a head coach, they play in those yeah. games. You know, Mississippi State, oh, they make all this noise. They had a good defense. They do this, put the points. When they had to play like an Alabama or Georgia, shut down, ended. Shut down. He just watched. and um, you know, so you know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, and then I, I, I tell the people, I don't put all this on Dad Prescott. I don't blame Dad Prescott for the loss of the game because where was CD Lamb? Where was Zeke Elliott? Where was the other defensive uh, players besides I'm Michael Parsons? I'm gonna have to. I'm, I have to. I, I'm gonna have to. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna have. I'm what? gonna have to fight you on this. I'm gonna have to fight you on this one. No, no. <laughs> and what? I don't even defend CD Lamb like that because I think he's overrated. But the receiver relies on the quarterback. He okay. made now. CD Lamb made. CD Lamb made some plays. I, I, he made okay. some plays, but Dak, like that, that deer in the headlight look, it's like that's what Dak had too. It was yeah. like Dak, like you, that was a really good point. Cause you said too, Dak was acting like he was playing like a rookie. Yeah. You know, and it just blows my mind. Like I just, I'm sitting there like, as I was rooting for the 49ers, I'm just like, come on, Dak. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> and the defense, and the defense, and he even said, he's like, yeah, the defense. They did everything they did for us to win the game. This was on me. Like, man, come on. Like, they was. But that's, that's every year with that. Every I game. Every really. year, even, <laughs> after the, even after the first interception, fine. You made one interception. You know, it happens. It's a part of the game. But you're at the 20-yard line. Like, you are down there. You can at least get a field goal. Mm-hmm. Interception. Come yeah. on, man. Like, what are you doing? Like, and then he almost threw know? a third one. He almost threw a third one on their 20 yard line. And, and, yeah. and see, this is what I say like, all right. And okay, I will give you that by CeeDee Lamb. All right. Mm. CeeDee Lamb did his part. Mm. But like you, like we have talked in the past, is CeeDee Lamb that wide receiver who can get no. blanket over three and you no. can still count on him? That's my thing when I, this, and that's mm-hmm. my thing when I talk about like CeeDee Lamb because T.Y. Hilton, he was, he was, Okay, but T.Y. Yeah, Hilton hasn't been the same T.Y. Hilton since he left yeah, the coach. 
Ever since yeah. that injury, he was not the same since he's been the coach. Because at that one yeah. year, he was everything. Everybody wanted T.Y. T, uh, T. Hilton. When yeah. he was playing, he got injured, he fell off. He did, you, and now he's over here playing with the Cowboys, and he makes yeah. one catch, and he goes right back out. Same yeah, thing yeah, with I, that I, other I, I, Same I, I, thing with the other wide receiver, um, uh, Gallup. Him, Gallup and Dak Prescott. And, and this is where it comes down to, is that the problem, or do we have a chemistry issue? Because it was that one play, he throwing the ball down to Gallup, and Gallup, he, the ball was coming on Gallup's right shoulder, but he's on the left yeah. trying to read and trying to adjust. It's like, well, okay, clearly y'all off. Because he's on with CeeDee Lamb. He's on yeah. when they're running the ball, but when you start throwing it to other quarterbacks, he's off. And, you know, and then, you know, and it is, I mean, this game, and I just want to chime in on this. The, for the 49er game, that the Cowboys 49er game, there was more to it than just a loss for the Cowboys. Like, the tight end. Like, you've been playing NFL football for how long, and you still putting one foot down? This isn't college, man. Yep. yep. This isn't college. Like, there's oh, yeah, more. Dal to Dalton. It. Uh, Dalton. Yep. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you you still putting one foot down? Like, you need two feet down. Yeah. You know, it's and it's just like, you know, and then it's like, Ezekiel it didn't help out because once <laughs> the running back got hurt, they had to rely on Zeke Elliott. He's sitting there hey, like, hey, he's hey. sitting there like, man, I don't know if I really want to do this. Hey, did you see that, bro? I was laughing my ass mm. off. Did you see the mm. last play they made? Oh and, man, and Fred wanted to truck them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that man yeah. went like this. Like that play was just done. Like it was, hey. it was like they all trying to do a screen pass. You know, that's all they're gonna do is lateral passes. And soon said down said hut Zeke Elliott, he's on his ass, and the other guy's on his ass. It's like the game was up. The, the, it was up. And, and they all stand around on the field like what's going on? The, the game is done, bro. <laughs> like they were like, bye bye. They said hey. bye bye. Hey, he trucked those. You know, you know how you you know how you because I think he tackled him. He was like, he slowed up because he's like, damn, he went down this easy. Like yeah. he, I, he lost, he lost some momentum because he was like, yeah. he didn't he expected a little fight. Yeah, you know, that shit was so funny. Well, I, I mean, I mean I, I, you know, because you know, that's what I said. You know, is that the problem? I don't think that's the problem. I, I think, I think, I think that contributes heavily. If, heavily. If, this, if, but, if this was a percentage, I will give Dak a good sixty-five to seventy yeah. percent of his contributed because even in that game, he almost had a safety. Yeah, he did. Scrambling. That's and the only saying. reason why he didn't get it, the guy let up when he tried to tackle him. And you know, because you know now nobody don't be, you can't tackle a quarterback no more. Yeah. You you yeah. tackle him. It's, Rough in the passing, like yeah. how? I what yeah. I'm supposed to do? You it should have been so, a, that. Should have been a safety. That should have been, been a safety because he ran yeah. him, he hit him, and he kind of pulled off, and that's one of the reasons why Dak Prescott got away. That's what I was saying, man. He just played the way he played the whole game. Like the other part of it too is they're not coached well. I, I'm not a big fan of Mark McCarthy, so that's another problem. But uh, and then the quarterbacks coach too, uh, not quarter, offensive uh, Kellen Williams or Kellen. Yeah. yeah, he's another one. Why not switch up? I don't like his play calling. I, well, let me say this. I don't like that he doesn't do adjustments. Yeah. He's been like that for the past couple of years. You know, like, because, you know, the, your Cowboys, we we see them all the time because they're America's team. Um, mm -hmm. But what I know is with him specifically is, and this is why he hasn't got a head coaching job. Well, not why, but I think it plays a part of it. And then, you know, love Jerry Jones. I don't think he's going anywhere, not yet. Um, but he doesn't switch up the play calling. Yeah. You know, he doesn't like, okay, you see this is not working. Why are you still doing the same plays? Yeah. Football is a game of sports. Let me say sports, period. Sports is a game of – it's games of adjustments. You got to make the adjustments. Mm -hmm. Whatever they're throwing at you, you got to be able to adjust. And it seems like when I've been paying attention for the Cowboys for the last couple of years, when it comes to him, they run the same – it's predictable. They yeah. run the same stuff. They don't – he's not inventive. He's not creative. Um, it's the same oh, stuff. So I, I think it's the coaching staff and Dak. I, but definitely I'm giving more to Dak. I'm giving more to Dak. Yeah. Dak looked like he wasn't – that forgot like, like he was a, forgot how to play. It was like looking at Tony Romo all over again. Like Tony Romo's up when he's up. Tony Romo's up when he was down. He was down. How many right about now? How many uh, fans you think they would wish they had Tony Romo right now? <laughs> Let me ask you this: if, Would you get the same result if you had Tony Romo right now with this team? Yeah, I believe so. even even when they had Amari Cooper. Did you mean same result is bad or good? The same results? What they like? In this 49er game, if you would have dropped Tony Romo in. See, that's the problem. I don't, what Tony Romo I'm getting? That's why I think it's like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you threw me a trick question. I don't even know. 
<laughs> you got a good point. Because you don't you don't you don't know what you're gonna get with Tony Romo. You, you definitely don't know what you're gonna get with Tony Romo. Tony Romo. Tony Romo was no joke. I mean, he wasn't boy, he balled. Like, you know, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like he, he, he would he, he'll set your he, ass on fire, but yeah, then he'll yeah. <laughs> then he'll be like, All right, well, I'm, balls for everybody. Yeah, exactly. you? He was like he was an open riffery out there. You yeah. get one, you get one. Yeah, so that was the problem. <laughs> I, I hate to even say that because I thought Dak would, you know, when how he took think about how he took Tony Romo's job. Like he forced yeah. Jerry Jones to be like, you gotta start me. And how yeah. he did well the first couple of seasons. He was like, okay, Dak is really on, he's extending up. But mm -hmm. I don't know, man. He's last two, you know what it is too? That ankle injury. You know, he came back from that. And it's just, it's not that I don't think that derailed him, but I think it's just his play has been so far. His play has been up and down. I uh, you know, they say when you get like major injuries like that, man. Mm -hmm. You you know, you deal with a lot of um mental, yeah. Mental, it's mental. And yeah. I don't know about self confidence. It could be self confidence, but it's just like it's like you're anticipating that next big hit because you don't you're anticipating that next big injury because that was a big injury yeah. he came back from. Yeah. Um. So I just I, he just hasn't been the same since he got that injury, and then he looks like he got a, a piano on his back when he runs. He just he just like he's chugging, like, chug 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 chug. Like you saw when he took off for like seven eight yards, it, it felt like it took forever. I'm like damn, that you know. So it's a piano. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't know what we're gonna do with America's uh, team. Uh, I don't I don't I really don't know. I don't. Yeah, I said I still don't think it's Dak's a whole problem, but I think Dak has a large contribution. Yeah. To it because at the end of the day, you start off with the ball, and you're the one that has to finish with it. Yeah. So how you get your team marching down the field, depending on where you're at on the field, is all entirely up to you. But you start throwing interceptions, and then you throw your second one. You like you said in the twenty, right outside the end zone. Oh. You know, you, you start and, and then you almost throw a third one. I'm telling you. But if you would have threw that one, I hell Jerry Jones might have came down the field, like, I right, get off the field. Get hey, off hey, the field. Hey, he would have used that red phone. Bring. Hey, yeah, Mike. Get him Mike. Off, like, Mike but, hey, we need we need to put Cooper in. Put Cooper <laughs> Rush in. <laughs> put him in. I don't care. Put him in. <laughs> it can't get no worse than this. Worse than this. In. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Just just tell Dad to sit down. We'll we'll talk when we get we'll talk on the jet flying back home. As of right now, I don't want to see him on the field. Get him off the field. For real. Yeah, Dang. get off the field. You know. Hate it for Dak you know? too, man. Because I, I, I'm not a fan of the Cowboys. I'm not really a fan of him, but I, I do want to see him. I don't want to see him playing like that. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> before we, before we move on, how do we see this Dallas team in the next two to three years? Mm. Is Dak going to be there? Zika going to be gone? Michael Parsons to be there? But what yeah. about Diggs? Dak will be there because they just locked into him. Um, okay. Unless. You know, they they get a quarterback that kind of drops on their lap. And, you know, uh, I do think that they might draft a quarterback this this in potential of, you know, I, nah, I don't think they could. Because Jerry always likes to go, well, I don't know. Well, okay, I'll say this for sure. Zeke is going to be gone in two years. I don't think he's going to last two years. Um, Tony Pollard is pretty much locked up that role. He's hurt, though. That's going to be a long recovery road for him, too. Yeah. Yeah, so they definitely need, it, right? Yeah, so they're yeah. gonna need to run it back. The defense is a shame because you know, like you said earlier, they're not gonna be able to keep everybody. But nah. it'd be nice to see him kept. But Jerry's is not gonna be able to keep them all. He's not gonna be able to keep them all. I mean, you mm -hmm. you, you got to really pick between Michael Parson or anybody else. Yeah. Now, you unless keep Michael. Not, yeah. You now, unless they him. unless they do what they did years ago, where they got rid of all their top draft picks and went and got to sign all those other players, we could and do then that. They on that massive run for the Super Bowl, and they started we'll winning. They but, could do that. I, I mean, times are different, but I don't know, man. I, like I said, is that the problem? No. Well, yes, but he contributes. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out.